Pediatricians are noticing a dramatic rise in the number of poisonings in children involving melatonin, in those cases including a big jump during the pandemic. Just last year, Poison Control Centers reported getting more than 52,000 calls about children taking too much of that sleep aid. Houston's only TV health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us with a look at what could be causing this spike. Haley. I mean, this was a scary headline that's been circulating, so I wanted to get the details on why it's happening, and I did find out that U.S. Poison Control Centers received more than 260,000 calls in about 10 years' time about melatonin. But one local toxicology expert says that doesn't mean a lot of patients have been harmed with melatonin. And in fact, he thinks the danger lies in what else is in the bottle. In a study released by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, it says the largest increase in children taking too much melatonin happened during the pandemic. Some were believed to be suicide attempts. Others were children who accidentally got into bottles, specifically the gummies, which look like candy. Only two children under two years old in 10 years were poisoned to death. And according to the Director of Toxicology at HCA Healthcare and University of Houston Professor Dr. Spencer Green, the numbers are still considered low. Yes, the uses has gone up tremendously, but we're not seeing a lot of toxicity from it. 1.2% and oftentimes it was because of intentional misuse. Dr. Green says this actually shows everyone who takes supplements that there's another bigger issue at hand that's not isolated to children. In the U.S., because melatonin is sold as a supplement, it is not regulated as a drug, meaning the U.S. Food and Drug Administration doesn't have any control of the ingredients or the accuracy of dosage claims. The issue is you may not be taking what you think you're taking. You know, most herbal supplements have been shown to have something other than what is stated on the bottle. You know, studies vary. It's anywhere from 12% to over 88% have something other than what you think you're taking. And while oftentimes it's something inert, something that won't harm you, it's just a waste of money, there are times where there's something dangerous. So if you do suspect an overdose of melatonin, symptoms may include slowed breathing, which is a reason to go to the emergency room. But in general, extreme sleepiness is the main symptom, and that can be monitored at home, according to Dr. Green. Dr. Green also says, guys, that he hasn't seen this happen here locally. And I also checked with Texas Children's. They tell me that they haven't seen this happening either.